I walked around here, there was a girl standing right here where I am. And she was reading a book. I walked around, she got up and walked off, so I said, I read the Bible here. And when I read the Bible, as soon as I read the Bible, a big black cloud came over and it started pissing rain. So I walked down here, and I walked into the shop where the two olive trees are. Next thing, a guy came running down with a baldy head and shook his way past me. Look, the time, far, the times are different here. Look, on the clock, it's some sort of time thing, it's like a different time scale. One person goes down that road, you look at that clock, they think, oh, it's hot, it's 10 to 5, when they look at that clock, they think it's 20 past 4. There's something dodgy here. And there's a year where I fall up on top of the building. And there's another year where I fall, weird Babylon thing. So I said, I stood here and I, I read the, I went around, the walked around. Next thing, some more claiming to be Irish pushed me out. I said, in the rain, he said, stand under the canopy there. I said, who are you? I said, I said, I said, I'd rather stand out on the rain and do what you tell me. So I walked down there and stood under another canopy. And when I come back, I said, I said, can you show me your ID? I said, who gives you authority here? I said, I want to see your ID. He couldn't show it to me. He pulled out a walkie-talkie microwave. I said, he said he was Irish. He was drunk. I said, you're the, I said, you must be the Danon or something, because you don't just throw an Irish man out on the street. I said, it's the reason why there's 70 million Irish people abroad is because of the likes of you. And he said he was the same as me. So I said, can you show me your ID? Because you're harassing me. 